Let me start by welcoming you to this Android versus iPhone presentation. I'll be the one who goes through with you what you should know about these two phones or any other smartphone before you decide to purchase either one. Who am I? My name is Rick Anderson. I'm the founder and CEO of We Envision IT Solutions. I have been in the IT business for over 20 years. What makes me an expert? Very simple. Knowledge. Knowledge that I've gathered throughout the 20 years in the IT business and I'm very passionate about electronics and about smartphones. Knowledge. As we all know, knowledge is power, especially if you are a consumer. When you know what you want or you have an idea what you want, then start gathering information because that knowledge will give you power in regards to finding the right smartphone to the needs you have and in some cases to the right price. Where do I get all these information? We can start with the internet. Google it, Yahoo it, Bing it. There's always somebody out there who has something to say about a product. There's even reviews out there where they compare products like the iPhone and the Android. We can also use the social media like Facebook, YouTube. On YouTube, there are people out there who are telling about the products. There's even consumers that perhaps even have bought the products and are telling about their experience. Books. There are e-books, normal books. There are books written about Android, iPhone, iPad, about everything out there. Use it. TV. There are channels that is specialized in electronics or gadgets, where they are selling it or where they're going through what these gadgets or smartphones can do. Magazines. There are hundreds of magazines, IT magazines, smartphone magazines. There's always a magazine and in these magazines there are articles in regards to the products. There are previews in regards to products and comparisons like you can find on the internet. Newspapers. I love newspapers. They have a section in regards to tech. And in there you can see trends, you can see which businesses are doing good, you can see where they're going with their products. Great place to find information. Family, friends and colleagues. Perhaps family, friends and colleagues, some of them have already bought the smartphone that you're looking at or that they are in the same boat as you they are considering to go out and buy themselves a smartphone and they have already began to gather information in regards to the products that's available out there so why not talk to them hear their opinions and then also hear what they have to say about certain products and what concerns they have before they will take a decision to buy a smartphone. Last but not least, the experts. Go to the local store and talk to the experts out there and let them demonstrate the smartphone. We have all seen headlines like these, either in newspapers, magazines, online, on TV, yeah, even in the mail you get. Headlines like App Showdown, Android versus iPhone, Android versus iPhone, who will win? Like it was a price fight between two boxes that had a showdown, a title fight. iPhone or Android? Which smartphone should you buy? I even saw the other day on NBC News this headline Android versus iOS. The race has never been closer. I must agree. When it comes to smartphones today, they are closer. I know that the iPhone was the first. The iPhone was the trailblazer. The iPhone was the one that defined what a smartphone was and what you could use it for. And what kind of feature it should come with. But the rest is catching up. And in some circumstances, they already catch up. 
There are still differences in regards to the screen size, in regards to the resolution of the screen and how good the phone is at showing natural colors. There's a difference in regards to sound, how good is the sound system. There's a difference in regards to the GPS and the camera that comes with the phone. If the phone has camera on the front and the back, how good is it to take still pictures? What about videos? Does the camera take advantage of the software that comes with the phone? What operation system runs on the phone? What about apps? Which apps have been developed to which system? And what about the apps? Do they run on all versions of the operation system or only runs on some? What about the speeds? Is it a 64-bit or a 32-bit system? And we all know a 64 is faster. What about the software and the battery life? How does the battery life do on the new phones? And what about the operation system? Does the operation system manage the battery as good as they can? And does it extend the life of the battery? These are the differences, but also that makes them close or closer. There is one thing that is different between an iPhone and an Android. And that is that an iPhone comes out every year when an Android comes out every month. The reason for that is simple. It is that an iPhone only has one manufacturer or one company behind it, and that is Apple. And they have decided only to come out with one phone a year. Or this year, 2013, they came out with two different, an iPhone 5S and an iPhone 5C. When it comes to an Android, that comes out nearly every month a new Android phone. And the reason is that the operation system is written by Google, but different manufacturers, hardware manufacturers, create their own version of an Android, like Motorola, like HTC, or like Samsung. They come out with their own version of an Android. So it is very important to take that in consideration. The reason I bring it up is that I always refer back to the PC market, the personal computer market. Because when I bought a Windows machine, let's say there was HP who built the hardware, but it was Microsoft who created the operation system. If I had trouble with the HP and they couldn't fix it at HP, they were quickly at blaming it on Microsoft that their operation system was not totally compatible with their hardware. And Microsoft did the same, that HP's hardware was not compatible with their software and the drivers that was written, they were in charge of and not Microsoft. Where when it came to an iMac, if I had a problem with an iMac, I went to the Apple store. If they couldn't fix it, they had a problem because they couldn't blame it on others. So they found a solution very quickly. And I didn't have to run around. I didn't have to hear that it was always somebody else's fault that it was not working. And that I think is important when you buy a smartphone. And that is something I consider when I go out buying a phone.